Resolution is the ability of a lens to separate or distinguish between small objects that are close together. Ab equation. Much of, much of the optical theory underlying microscope design was developed by the German physicist Ernst Abbe in the 1870s. What is Ab equation? D is equal to 0 0.5 lambda and sin theta where d is the working distance or the minimum distance between two objects that reveals them as separate entities. 0 0.5 is here constant, lambda is the wavelength of the light to illuminate the specimen and n sin theta is the numerical aperture where theta is the angular aperture and, and n is the refractive index. We will see and discuss about all these things in the next slide. Working distance of objective. Distance between the front surface of the lens and the surface of cover glass, if cover glass is there, or directly the specimen when, when it is in sharp focus. Objectives with large numerical aperture and have greater resolving power and uh, working distance should be smaller. When working distance is smaller, a numerical aperture is greater than resolving is power is greater where theta is the half of the angle of the cone of light that enters the objective lens from the specimen. As we have seen in the F equation n sin theta. Theta is inversely proportional to the working distance. If theta is will be small, working distance will be more and more resolving power. In this slide we see that here low numerical aperture uh, or cone of illumination we can say here cone of illumination and low numerical aperture on the objective lens here is the high numerical aperture and therefore high resolving power will be here because here the space is wider here the space is narrower that's why here resolving power will be more and here resolving power will be less resolving power will be less means low magnification here will be more magnification of the specimen. Now wavelength of light. In the equation we have seen that uh, d is equal to 0 0.5 lambda divided by n sin theta where lambda that means wavelength of light is directly proportional to the working distance. If uh, our working distance should be shorter that means our wavelength should be shorter that means shortest wavelength gives the greatest resolution and light at the blue end of the visible spectrum in the range of 450 to 500 nanometer is the best for the greater resolution in this slide we see again the numerical aperture where the half the angle of the cone of the light entering an objective is the theta narrower angle will be there then the resolution will be low Wide angle will be there, more resolution because it, it spreads the out rapidly after passing through a spine. That means closely packed objects appear widely separated and therefore the specimen will be more resolved in this wide angle case. That means theta will be more, then distance will be less, then more resolving power. Factors on which angle of cone of light depends. First is refractive index and other is objective lens itself. Refractive index. Refractive index we can see here understand that the uh, medium between the objective lens and the cover slip or directly the specimen we can see is the generally is the air. We, for the refractive index of air is 1. It can't be greater than 1 because sin theta is equal to where uh, theta maximum will be 90 degree and sin 90 degree is equal to 1. Therefore, in uh, normal cases where air is the medium between the lens and the cover slip, it will be 1 and in case of air we can see that most of the lights gets reflected or refracted. So, less amount of uh, light passes through the lens. Therefore, the resolving power will is uh, in case of air is less but we can increase the resolving power of the lens by immersing the lens into the oil because in case of oil we see that all the lights uh, passes through the lens and hence we can uh, get wider space for the observation of the specimen in case of immersed oil so when we immerse the oil then we get more magnified uh, 
image or in case in this case we can we can say that the resolving power will be more now objective lens normally four or four, three or four objective lens ranging from 4x to 100x is used for the magnification we, our eye it detect 0.2 mm in diameter so 1000 times the numerical aperture of the objective lens can be magni can be used for the magnification so 15x eyepiece may be used with good objective to achieve a useful magnification of 1500x final magnification of 10000x but it would um, simply be magnifying a blur that means here the we will not uh, see the detailed uh, observation of the specimen detailed uh, fine uh, detailed structure of a specimen so here we can see the blood kind of thing so for uh, higher magnification we need electron microscope which gives sufficient re re resolution to make the higher magnification useful the role of condenser in resolution proper specimen illumination also is extremely important in determining resolution illumination is also important for the resolution purpose so a microscope equipped with a concave mirror between the light source and the specimen illuminates the slide with a fairly narrow cone of light narrow cone of light that means theta will be less and theta uh, will be less than uh, definitely the working distance will be more than uh, at this situation resolving power will be less and uh, small numerical aperture you can see also that a small numerical aperture we will see here New small numerical aperture there will be working distance will be more and less resolving power according to M equation so resolution can be improved by using a sub stage condensation in the previous uh, video brightfield microscope we have condensed uh, we have sorry we have seen that how this sub stage condensation helps in the better resolution or uh, or provides a cone of light on the slide so for um, for knowing the the sub stage condition uh, how it does focus a cone of light you go through the uh, our brightfield microscope slide it is available on the youtube so um, sub stage condenser a large uh, gathers a light large sorry a large light gathering lens used to project a white cone of light through the slide and into the objective lens thus increasing the numerical aperture here white cone of light is uh, focused uh, through the slide therefore numerical aperture increases because theta gets increases so because that's the reason that our numerical aperture also increases and numerical aperture increases which is indirectly proportional to the in working distance therefore working distance will be less and less working distance more resolving power of the um, objective lens the resolution of a microscope depends upon the numerical aperture of its condenser as well as that of the objective condenser numerical aperture will not be much above 0 0.9 so result if it is not immersed in the oil a resolution of a light microscope can be calculated using the M equation like that d micro is equal to lambda where and divided by numerical aperture of the objective and numerical aperture of the condenser this is all also the M equation now here given one calculation which shows the resolving power of a microscope with an oil immersion objective numerical aperture is given 1.25 and we are using blue green light so wavelength of blue green light is here 530 nanometer this is the constant and this is the numerical aperture so d is equal to this is according to the m equation we can see here this is m equation d is equal to 0 0.5 lambda and sin theta on this basis we have calculated this calculation so this calculation is based to, on this the 0 0.2 micrometer is the resolving power power of a microscope when we are providing numerical aperture 1.25 and blue green light 530 nanometer so this is the this is a just the um, summary we can see that microscopic resolution increases as the wavelength of radiation used to illuminate the specimen decreases the maximum here it is the maximum resolution of a light microscope is about 0.2 micrometer so that